Tonight, the Army has begun its investigation into how two Black Hawk helicopters crashed last night in Kentucky, killing nine soldiers. Kathy Park has that story for us. Tonight, a glimpse of the fiery wreckage moments after the deadly crash. Two Black Hawk helicopters going down in the dark during what the Army called a routine training mission. Nine soldiers killed. They were flying a multi-ship formation, two ships under night vision goggles at night. The soldiers, all part of the 101st Airborne Division, stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. These specific aircraft were uh, medical evacuation aircraft. However, uh, we believe the accident occurred when they were doing flying, not deliberate medical evacuation drills. The family of Staff Sergeant Caleb Gore telling NBC News he was among the victims. His father, Tim, saying his passion was search and rescue and that he was a real life Captain America. Tonight, an aircraft safety team is now investigating. You said your house. What? James Hughes lives near the scene, telling us he heard the crash and ran out to help. We heard a loud boom and uh, two, two small booms and all of a sudden the engine shut down and I told my neighbor, I said, I said, they have crashed. Was there anything that you could do? Uh, no, it wasn't anything anybody could do. This veteran grieving for his fellow service members, along with leaders across the state. We must remember that that freedom relies on those who are willing to serve, some of which pay the ultimate price. This crash coming just weeks after another deadly training flight involving a Black Hawk in Alabama that killed two members of the Tennessee National Guard. And tonight near the debris field here in Kentucky, officials are hopeful they will find some sort of data in the wreckage similar to a black box that may hold more clues as to what went wrong. Lester. All right, Kathy Park, thank you. Up next. Tonight, we're learning more about the service members killed in that Kentucky Black Hawk helicopter crash on Wednesday night. It happened during a training exercise near Fort Campbell. Today, officials released the names of the nine 101st Airborne Division soldiers who died aboard those two choppers. Safety teams are still investigating the cause of the crash. The other thing that I'd point out that this is all happening at night. The U.S. Army trains continuously at night. But that's a challenge for uh, aviators. They have to do it. But when you're talking about night vision goggles, when you're flying an aircraft, and I'll demonstrate, pardon me for this, but you have two goggles like this in front of your face, and that's where you can see using the illumination from whatever is out there, stars, moonlight. Last night, I looked it up. Uh, the moon rose at noon yesterday. It's set at 3.59 this morning. So they had good moonlight, about 50% illumination from moon illumination last night. And that helps see with night vision goggles. The problem is it's a limited scope of, of uh, being able to see because you're literally reduced to the, to the two soda straws of your binoculars. The, the other thing I would say, you know, they're, they're going to look through what might have happened. As Oren said, also, it could have been a wire strike. The aircraft could have hit each other. They could have, uh, you know, their tail rotor could have hit a tree uh, as they were coming off the landing zone or going into the, the landing zone. That's why General Lewis uh, said that they were going to bring in experts. There's a safety center at Fort Rucker, Alabama, that immediately sends out teams to investigate these kind of crashes. 